Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today's section is how to create a coordination drawing in AutoCAD. Okay, so we'll have uh, like a lot of uh, mechanical, electrical, plumbing, all the systems. So, so how we can um, develop that drawings in um, drawings together. Okay, so uh, with someone having same level, so we need to uh, difference uh, the height difference and everything we need to show it there without any clashes so so the, for example this is a section for the um, uh, one of the section for that one so the ducts are going on this way and the fire fighting will going below and sprinkler up, upright sprinklers and everything we need to show it in the coordination model so we creating shop drawing uh, with some levels okay so then uh, then that was noted coordinated okay so once once uh, you prepare the shop drawing after that we need to coordinate all the services so for example here is the cable tray is going like this and uh, a ducts is going away and we need to uh, differentiate the things like uh, without any clashes so th these things how we need to prepare in them uh, in AutoCAD how how it will possible I will show you so if you like my video please watch my YouTube channel and if 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 it possible just uh, subscribe my channel okay thanks for watching and I will show you how to develop that one so this is basically we need to do by excellence okay so I created one folder okay so for example I created one folder over here for coordination okay so then uh, i need to create uh, some uh, folders so that this is a folder structure okay so you can see here um, all the folder structure okay so for example this is the architecture and structural file and this is the electrical and this is the mechanical file and uh, this is the title block of the projects and this is the coordination model need to work okay so first of all i will open that model um, then i will just deleting maybe something over there just purge it okay then just uh, purge the things and close it and first upon we need to we'll have some layer we need to create it okay so for example this one for the um, architectural okay i will create like an architectural layer okay and then next is for um, uh, inserting the things like uh, um, uh, mechanical items okay mechanical mechanical and then uh, okay then uh, you can say it like uh, all extra okay extra we, we can say that like extra okay so then make it as a current okay then just click it over there um, so how we can insert the extra okay so then I will show you how to do that one so just to click XR okay then you will be get the pop-up window like this so this is our coordination working model so I need to insert all the uh, like architectural structural and mechanical and electrical okay attach drawing and where you save would just uh, select that one so my project is in my desktop okay so i will just go to the new folder okay coordination then architectural and structural just insert uh, select with, uh, with two and just open and uh, just open it okay so these two are um, attached over here so you can see here it's it, it was attached so just open that one just see whether uh, it's uh, it's this is the basement plan okay architectural plan and we need to see the structural also over here so just open that one also structural open so this this is the two file for the uh, structural and uh, architectural so just i am closing that one and this one also i am closing uh, so you just see here it's something uh, structural is coming over here okay so what we can do uh, this is the base point is different okay so for example we'll just say like uh, uh, this is the base point zero zero okay then copy this one and open the structural model structural uh, this one okay so the base point is totally different for this one and just click zero 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 base point so it was moved up to here okay just move this one and pick this point okay then just place it over here uh, just placing that one okay just read it and move it down the zero zero comma okay oh sorry okay, just move it point to the end of this line so it was fixed over there just to save the purge and save it this one Purge all items so unwanted layers and everything will be gone once you purge it okay save it that one 
so it will come to this uh, uh, exact positions okay just see, reload that one so the, the structural uh, also coming up to here okay so there will be a small uh, different with the structural and architectural so how we can fix this one um, we will see how it how it's uh, we we can fix this one okay for example we'll have this much distance so uh, we need to move it okay for example uh, 0 comma 0 i will just do pl then 0 comma 0 okay uh, this is the uh, like even even the basement also it's not in the correct position so uh, just go there okay then uh, we will just uh, copy this one 0 comma 0 and we'll otherwise you can do one thing you can just copy these things okay this uh, this this point okay copy copy with the base and 0 comma 0 okay then uh, what we can do go to the structural and you can just paste it that one okay paste the original coordinates so then then what we can do just select this one and then select this one and move to move this one okay then uh, fix it this on on, on here okay so the, our uh, things are ready okay then you just save it and you go to the coordination model just go here also the structural plan also this is the just example for how to fix the things like uh, move it from some other base point so you can adjust it like that means you can make it like that okay so <clears throat> this is our um structural um, and uh, this uh, structural and architectural plan in the uh, we link it okay next step we just to lock it this one okay we can lock the things okay for example you can lock the things okay then what we can do uh, just next step is for uh, lighting and power and other one okay so just uh, go to here and go to select our folder electrical and select all the things okay one time you can select it and just to click okay so that will be coming here okay so the, for example uh, you have lighting over here okay so the all the lighting will come here and you have fire alarm drawing so you can change the layer from here also like x of go to x of and if you go to when you to change the fire alarm um, layer you can change from here also for example i'm choosing red for this one so all the fire alarm you will be get over here okay and and this one um one uh, like in the cable tray also here so you can change the cable tray layer also if you want okay so it, for example this one so these all are uh, green then you just need to change to some other color okay so for example i'm using blue then it will come to the blue okay so like that you can arrange the layer also easily and next step is like uh, uh, you need to ch uh, attach all the mechanical drawing okay so go to mechanical folder okay then you just select this one open it okay so it it was uh, coming uh, over here okay just will uh, just knew what is this one it's not uh, coming here okay so we need to open first this one the uh, the drainage model so just to detach this one okay some unwanted uh, files uh, excerpts are there so that is what it is coming there just purge it and save this is the like uh, um, this one is the drainage drawing okay so uh, we'll have uh, one drainage drawing also without texas and everything texas we need to give as per uh, once i shown like this okay for example the drainage you need means you can give the text for the drainage and everything like this okay so this is the way we are doing that one and we just save this one okay then close it and we'll go here and just reload the xrf okay so that will be come over here okay so if once you selected that one and another dz and dr are already here and we just need to go open uh, this dz also means district cooling system so in this one we need to check whether uh, it was any other extra is over there or, no, or not okay so just close this one purge it close and save it so this is a district cooling system for this is the hcu and this is the uh, pipe uh, uh, district cooling pipe uh, chilled water pipe is going to connect that one okay so this is the method we are using that one and go to coordination model and reload it okay then next rough okay, so uh, so this, this this is the way we are uh, doing all the things if you want to open uh, this uh, water supply you can open directly from there okay so like that like that we are setting this uh, coordination model okay so for example here drainage okay just open okay so drainage was fixed 
and the next next system all the systems are fixed over here so, so you can uh, get the uh, firefighting from here okay and uh, the text is over there pipe size and everything is there and we can go to xrof and we'll just uh, okay then lay unlock unlock okay so just unlock it and you can see clearly you can see the things okay then uh, this is the first setups for the uh, like the coordination drawing then you need to develop um, as per uh, like like this we need to develop the sections okay sections and everything e sections and everything and even the textures okay textures like this you can uh, make it okay so we can copy this one and you can paste it there and for the textures and everything and building height you will be get from here for example i'm just taking the one of this one one of the sections okay for example i'm uh, taking one uh, good sections from here uh, for example i'm taking this one okay copy this one and i will just go to the coordination model and i'm just pasting this one i will show you one thing like uh, how we can give that all the things it will take more time for preparing the coordinations and everything and even you can uh, take some uh, uh, section marks also from here okay for example i'm choosing this one okay so we'll just uh, make this one copy and we'll go here in the coordination model and paste it over here okay so for, uh, you need to create some sections from uh, for, for this area just to move move the cursor or move the section over here okay then select like that okay select like that and they just to stretch this one so you can stretch this one up to here okay then uh, this one also you can select like that and move it up to here so for, for example you need to make the section for this area so uh, this much area you need to develop the sections okay then you can uh, give the tags for uh, tag for uh, that areas and everything you can copy the text from here okay and to, you can give the uh, like that you can give the text the tags for each and everything okay for example you just uh, copy this whole text okay for example you're copying this whole text okay and i'm just uh, unchecking this one all the extra five let's and un select okay and just copy this one okay copy not not like that but i'm showing uh, the way we are doing just paste it that one over here oh sorry this one is different then i uh, just paste it over here for the reference so you can get the uh what we can get the or textures and everything you will be uh, get it okay for example this cable tray okay for example cable tray means uh, we have created one layer for cable tray and select this this one okay and you can uh, give the uh, tag for the cable trays okay for example this is uh this is cable tray okay just to give a leader like that and match with this one and just to give the text for that okay so this is the method we are using for creating um, uh, sections uh, means the coordination way and next step i will show you uh, how to create fully like uh, in the some more sections and everything so this is the part one okay i will just wait for the next section and i will i will show you how to give all the tags and uh, everything so we are using uh, for uh, coordination we are using um, the, this extra of systems and you need to create all uh, like a folder and everything and uh, we we and and we we need to start a coordination things okay for in the this is a ceiling coordination drawing okay so whatever is coming to above ceiling you can uh, create the systems okay for example this lighting need to change the color okay so just to go here and just uh, need to change the color for the light okay so just give a yellow Okay, so the light fixes are you can see visible and you can see it and you need to give the tag for all the systems okay for uh, chilled water and everything i will show you a separate video for that one and how to make the the kind of sections like that um, and sizes and everything okay i think uh, this will help a little bit for you and if you like my video please subscribe my channel it's totally related to uh, autocad and rivet okay thanks for watching thank you